you're about to go head to head for your chance to win a share of 220,000 Rand in the 2021 Disc Brain of 702. Good morning. If you've just tuned in, welcome good to afternoon. you. Oh, goodness. It is good. <laughs> good afternoon. <laughs> oh, it is good afternoon. It is good afternoon. We've just finished this week's adult brain, and now we move on to the brain of 702 with 20,000 Rand up for grabs. Welcome to those that are also streaming live on Facebook. Uh, we're waving to you now. And all our four winners from previous Saturdays are on the line and they're ready to go head to head. And our quiz master is the morning person himself. Of course, you know that it's good morning and which time it's good afternoon, Mr. Bingwa. Uh, any tips for our finalists? Well, you know, as uh, the experienced um, general knowledge guy, <laughs> knower of all th- <laughs> what would I know? Look, I mean, I think at this stage, um, you're a finalist. You're competing against the best of the best. Um, everybody who is going to be competing for this round already has won 10,000 rand. Uh, they, could as, uh, they could, as you said, win an additional 20,000 rand. So these guys know their stuff. Um, I think my tip would be just be yourself. You know, stay calm. You know what you know. Um, answer as calmly as possible. Um, I don't. I really don't think there's much I can say beyond good luck. Yeah, and if you don't know the answer, move on. Move or on. at least guess. You know what, Henny? Henny won last week. And Henny's thing is, if you don't know the answer, um, give it a good guess. And uh, instead of just saying pass, because pass, you've lost it, mm. right? So if it's true or false, say true, even if you don't know. Mm. It might be. It's a 50-50 chance. Um, whereas, of course, with pass, you just get a zero. So perhaps that's the useful tip I can give you. Uh, but at this stage, um, these guys really know their stuff. So good luck. All right. So let's start with Craig Rosa, who is uh, the winner. And Craig won on the 6th of February. This is the first weekend of February. And uh, Craig is a 54-year-old from The Hill. He's an Uber driver who has been listening to 702 for more than 10 years. Uh, our Friday winner has entered Brain before and even managed to get to the semi-finals. His interest in general knowledge comes from his love of absorbing new information by reading books and listening to the news. He also loves building and making things with his hands. Greg, welcome. How are you feeling this morning? Hello, this good afternoon. Morning. Um, I'm <laughs> as ready as I'll ever be. Yeah, ready as you'll ever be. And and you have entered before and you managed to get to the semi-finals. Any lessons from the previous competition? Um, I think if you don't know the answer, just pass as quick as possible. Answer as quick as possible, but mm. stay calm at the same time. All right, Craig, let's uh, hear how you are going to do. Mr. B- Bingwa, over to you. All right, uh, thank you, Clement. Craig, well, you know how it works. Uh, I've got 25 questions. You have 90 seconds to answer them. And, of course, even in this round, the contestant who gets the most correct answers will obviously be the winner. However, we are prepared to play sudden death if the scores are equal. Craig, as ready as you'll ever be, start the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word camouflage. C-A-M-A-F-L-E. A-G-U-E. Incorrect. Give the present tense of the word held. Hold. Correct. Complete the title of the Oscar-winning film, No Country for Old What? Men. Correct. What is the second last letter in the word solemn? M. Correct. Is the town Colesburg in the Northern Cape or the Free State? Free State. Incorrect. True or false. Acidic solutions have a pH above 7. Incorrect. Which animal has more toes on each foot, the ostrich or the chicken? Chicken. Correct. Does the word decoy mean trap or shape? Repeat, please. Does the word decoy mean trap or shape? Pass. What sport did Kyle Abbott play for South Africa? Cricket. Correct. Complete the saying, you have to burn the midnight what? Oil. Correct. Which country has cities like Bangalore, Delhi and Chennai? India. Correct. The abbreviation DSL stands for Digital Subscriber What? False. True or false? South Africa has 76 million people. False. Correct. Which of the five vowels is not used in the word repudiate? False. True or false? Diphtheria is a disease that affects the feet. False. Correct. 
correct. Uh, that would be the throat. Um, so, yeah, that is absolutely correct. Um, uh, the vowel not in the word repudiate would be O. Uh, DSL stands for digital subscriber line. And decoy means trap, not shape. Um, acidic solutions have a pH below 7. So um, that was false. Um, Colesburg is in the Northern Cape. And camouflage is C A M O U F L A G E. Clement Magnatella, you bet at numbers than I am. What's the score? All right, so uh, Craig, you managed to get nine out of the fifteen questions that you were asked. Are you are you happy with that? No, not at all. Um, there were a couple where I should have known the answers. I knew Carlsberg was either Free State or Northern Cape. You know, I know it's on the border, sort of, yeah. Yeah, don't be hard on yourself. Like, you, you, you did what you could, and you never know. This could be, uh, nine could be the score that, uh, you know, gets you to be the reigning brain. Thanks for playing, Craig. Let's go to our second contestant now. This is Nayan Kandua. Uh, Nayan actually won on uh, the week number one, and Nayan is 43 years old old from Randberg. He has been listening to 702 for close to 10 years and this is his third time entering the brain of 702 and this Tuesday winner has been interested in general knowledge since he was young with the help of his father who used to tell him random facts on everything and anything and he works as an IT specialist for one of the largest tech companies in the world and in his spare time he loves playing fantasy Premier League and following Liverpool yeah. football club you won week number two you won week, week number, number two, two. does right. craig need week number one all right so yes, week number yes. two and then you won on uh, on the saturday of the 13th of february thank you for that uh, bongs and Nayan, good morning to you are you good to go how are you feeling this morning um it's good afternoon clement then i'm well thanks yeah you're feeling well are you how are your confident levels uh confidence is up confidence is good yeah all right all right good luck to you Nayan. bongs o- over to you all right, same story. 25 questions I've got. You have 90 seconds to answer as many as you can. Nan, good luck to you. Take a deep breath because we're starting the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word lieutenant. L I E uh, L I E U T E N A N T. Correct. Give the present tense of felt. Feel. Correct. Complete the title of the Oscar-winning film, The King's What? Speech. Correct. What is the second last letter in the word college? G. Correct. Is the town Zerest in Limpopo or Northwest? Northwest. Correct. True or false? Carbon forms more carbon forms more compounds than any other element. True. Correct. Which animal has no eyelids? Snake or dove? Snake. Correct. Does the word desolate mean lonely or in time? Lonely. Correct. What sports did Akir van der Merwe play for South Africa? Rugby. Correct. Complete the saying he knows it's he knows it like the back of his what? Hand. Correct. Which country has cities like Hamilton, Dunedin, and Nelson? New Zealand. Correct. The abbreviation FTP stands for File What Protocol? Transfer. Correct. True or false? South Africa is larger than Botswana. True. Correct. Which of the five vowels is not used in the word laceration? You. Correct. True or false? The periodontal disease affects your liver. False. Correct. Which city is further south, Johannesburg or Durban? Durban. Correct. Which country is a neighbor of Guinea, Liberia or Benin? Liberia. Liberia is correct. Liberia is correct. Is it in time? I'm looking at the judges. No. Uh, they're feeling harsh this morning. The judges say, no, Liberia is not in time. Would have been correct answer. Um, there's nothing to correct then, Nahan, because of uh, the 16 questions you were asked, uh, you got all of them correct. Oh, wow. You got all of them correct. So I guess we know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's 16 Pity correct. Pity about Liberia. <laughs> darn it. Darn it. Pity about yeah, Liberia. Yeah. How are you feeling, Nahan? I mean, what do you want to say Ugh. to your father who used to tell you these random facts on everything and anything? 
Well, after the last round, he was actually quite uh, happy that I mentioned him and the, 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 the effect that he had on me growing up. So I'm sure he's quite thrilled about this as well. Blessings, oh. blessings. Yeah, <laughs> blessings indeed. Nayan, uh, good on you, man. Well done. 16 correct answers. Oh. Let's see how the others are going to fare. We go to the winner who won on the 20, 20th of February. Last uh, week, Saturday. This yep. is last week, Saturday. Is this the time when you were here? Yes, All yes. Right. So he was, he's Duplessis. the one who says a uh, guess instead of saying pass. Ah, lovely. This is Henny. All right. Henny is 57 years old. Uh, Henny is a financial manager from Rudeport. He has been listening to 702 from 1982 and taking part of Brain since inception. He enjoys quizzes and claims to have a brain that collects useless information constantly. And his hobbies include reading, collecting award-winning movies on DVD, uh, singing, playing in an orchestra, and following international cricket avidly. Uh, Henny, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you feeling? You won last Saturday. How are your confidence levels? Yeah, confidence is good. I mean, I am put up a very good score, so yeah. it's going to be challenging. All right. You never know. You never know. Take a deep breath and over to you, Bongs. Yes, indeed. Henny, I'm afraid I've given away your little secret, uh, your strategy there, uh, but hopefully it helps. <laughs> hopefully it helps. Listen, you said it on YouTube anyway, so uh, people exactly. would have seen it, so I didn't quite give it away. Good luck to you, Henny. Uh, you know you can do this. Take a deep breath because we're starting the clock. Three, two. One. Spell the word mayonnaise. M a y o n a i s e. Incorrect. Give the present tense of the word flung. Fling. Correct. Complete the title of the Oscar-winning film Slumdog What. Millionaire. Correct. What is the second last letter in the word ecstasy? C. Incorrect. Is the town Tabanju in the Free State or Limpopo? Free State. Correct. True or false? Oxygen is the most abundant element in our body. False. Incorrect. Which animal has no hair? Whale or penguin? Whale. Co- incorrect. Does the word diminutive mean big or tiny? Tiny. Correct. What sport did Munim Josephs play for South Africa? Cricket. Incorrect. Complete the saying, his living on borrowed what? Time. Correct. Which country has cities like Hanover, Potsdam and Bremen? Germany. Correct. The abbreviation GUI stands for graphical what interface? User. Correct. True or false? South Africa is the oldest African republic. True. Incorrect. Give uh, which of the five vowels is not used in the word obliterate? You. Correct. True or false? Uh, soliosis is a disease of uh, the lungs. False. Correct. Which South African city is further north, Soweto or Peter Maritzburg? Soweto. Correct. Which country is a neighbour of Ethiopia, Somalia, or Egypt? Somalia. Correct. Which is not an Olympic sport? Ten pin bowling or handball? Ten pin bowling. Correct. That is in. That is definitely in. Ten pin bowling yes, is, in. is in. Yes, 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 yes. All right. South Africa is certainly not Africa's oldest uh, republic. That would belong to Liberia. Muneeb Josephs played football for South Africa. It's the penguin that has no hair. And uh, oxygen is uh, the most abundant element in our bodies. And the second last letter in the word ecstasy would be S. Oh, and mayonnaise has two N's. Mayonnaise has two N's. So that's what tripped you there. Um, Henny, tough round, I think this was. <laughs> uh, listen, you won 10,000 Rand last week. But Clement, give us give us the news. Give well, the man the hard news. Yeah, and I see Henny was using that trick of uh, just give a guess and move to as many questions as you can. And you've managed to um, answer 18 questions, Henny, and you've gotten... 12 out of the 18 questions that Bongani Ooh. asked you. Uh, that is just a couple of points away from that 16 uh, that Ney and God. But thanks for playing, Henny. Let's hear how uh, the second, uh, the, the, the fifth contestant, in fact, it's the fourth one, uh, is going to fare. This is Ian Swart, who we just played with uh, before 12 o'clock, and Ian won today. And Ian is 59 years of age. He is a businessman from Boxburg and has been listening to 702 since uh, the beginning in 1980. He has entered Brain 15 times. And this year, he finally had the opportunity to compete on air. He says he's got an interest in how things work and a good memory. That is why general knowledge captivates him. Ian, you won uh, about 30 minutes ago. Are you ready to go now? 
Yes, I am. As right. ready as I'll ever be. Yeah, can you make it two in a row? That's the question, right? You've already won 10,000 yeah. Rand. Uh, I mean, if you won 30,000 Rand, what would you do with all of that money? You're a businessman, invested, I'd imagine. Yeah, I would think about investing it. In your business, hopefully. <laughs> uh, yeah. All so right. All right, you never know. Happen. You never know, Ian. Good luck to you. Here we go. We're starting the clock. Three, two, one. Spell the word officially. O double F I C I A L L Y. Correct. Give the past tense of the word fight. Four. Correct. Complete the title of the Oscar winning film 12, 12 Years a What? That's nice. Correct. What is the second last letter in the word receive? V. Correct. Is the town Lepala Lepala Le in Limpopo or Northwest? Northwest. Incorrect. True or false? Hydrochloric acid is a chemical element? False. Correct. Which animal has no eyelids? Parrot or fish? Fish. Correct. Does the word accomplice mean accessory or opponent? Accessory. Correct. What sport does uh, Lars Feldweg play for South Africa? Cricket. Incorrect. Complete the saying, the what came home to roost? Chicken. Correct. Which country has cities like Sao Paulo, Belém and Manaus? Brazil. Correct. The abbreviation PDF stands for portable what format? Portable download format. Incorrect. True or false, South Africa was ruled by Britain until 1994. False. Correct. Which of the five vowels is not used in the word obsequious? A. Correct. True or false? Hydrophobia is another name for the disease rabies. All right. Can't false. complete. Uh, it would have been true. It would have been true. Uh, it would have been true, but it wasn't in time in any case. PDF stands for portable document, document. format. Yeah. Uh, portable document format. Um, Lars uh, Feldweg played football for South Africa. And uh, Lephalale is in Limpopo, not the Northwest, not the Northwest. So those are the three uh, that tripped you there, Ian. So what does that tally up to, Well, that Clement? tallies up to 11 correct answers, Ian. 11 correct answers out of the 14 uh, that Bongani asked you. Thanks for po playing, Ian. And so just to uh, recap, Ian has just gotten 11 out of the four, and then Henny got 12 out of the 18 questions, and we had... Uh, Craig, who got nine out of the 15 questions. And of course, Nayan, who didn't get a single uh, question incorrect, got 16. And you know what that means, Nayan? Yes, I do. <laughs> you are the reigning brain of 702. Uh, you have won an additional 20,000 rand thanks to 702 and Discam, a winning mind in a healthy body. How are you feeling? You are the 702 oh. Brain 2021. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a big relief because, I mean, it was, I was breaking myself up from this morning. Uh, but uh, now that it's over, it's, it's a bit of relief. And it's, I don't know, it hasn't sunk in yet. So I don't know really how to hmm. describe it. How are you going to celebrate? Um, well, I, I, I don't really know. I, I didn't think that far ahead. I didn't expect to get this far. I didn't expect to win. So I haven't really thought about all that yet. Ah, that's incredible, man. Congratulations to you, Nayan. And do you think you want to play again next year? I'll try. Okay. Look. <laughs> Thank you for playing, Nayan. Uh, uh, Kadua is uh, the reigning brain, eh? the discum brain of 702. Winner for for 2021. 2021, listen, uh, much respect to all the contestants, uh, those uh, who entered and played the online general knowledge game, uh, those who were good but somehow did not get selected because obviously, uh, you know, the selection is also a little bit of a lottery, right, in terms of whether you even make it on air or not. Uh, you heard uh, one of the contestants Ian saying he tried 15 times before ever making it on air we appreciate everybody who entered
centers, everybody who participates, everybody who encourages those they know could do well mm. to enter. Uh, thank you, everyone. Congratulations to everybody who played. Um, you are the ones, uh, you as our listeners, really make this competition what it is. Um, and there's something of uh, there's something of the bragging rights, right, of knowing you won a particular year. Yeah. Quite a part, of course, from the prizes. I mean, 30,000 Rand is something you know, I think we could all do a little bit with, right? Absolutely. Uh, so congratulations, everybody. Well done, everyone all round. And, of course, thanks to Discam, our sponsors, for the Discam Brain of 702. Yeah, and thanks to you, Quizmaster, for all your amazing work. And thanks You're the pressure. <laughs> the pressure. <laughs> and oh. thanks for you, to you for, for listening uh, to the finale, the Discam Brain of 702. And thanks to those that have been watching us um, on Facebook as well. The 2021 Discam Brain of 702, sponsored by Discam, pharmacists who care.